This is with Nastish Kenjige, king of the desert, <laughs> conqueror of Lancashire, taking five wickets today in USA's six wicket win over Lancashire. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. How did it feel out there? It felt great. I mean, to win any any match, and this was a quality side. They are a top side in England county, and to beat them so comprehensively it feels great. Amazing. Going back to Oman on that tour, you struggled a little bit. Coming out of the Super 50, you, you bowled quite well. You ran to the match in the win over Leeward Islands. And then when you got to Oman, it seemed like you were a little bit of a funk. Went wicketless the first four games. Finally got out of that streak in the final game against Singapore. But then it, again against UAE, it looked like you were stuck in a little bit of a rut. And then you come out here today, and almost from ball one, it looked like you were in perfect rhythm. Mm -hmm. Is there something that helped you, I guess, snap out of it, or did you even feel like you were you were in a little bit of a funk and, and you were struggling for rhythm leading into today? I wish I knew, but I think um, even in Oman, I wasn't getting wickets, but I thought I was bowling well in patches. Um, there were four matches where I went wicketless, but I think I was doing my job when I had to contain in the middle overs. And in the fifth game, I got two wickets, but overall, you can, yeah, it wasn't one of my best tournaments. I think my head wasn't in the right space. I could, I should have done more and contributed more to the team. But I think looking forward, um, the way we are preparing for the Division 2 in Namibia, just, it, I'm just focusing on the process more than the results. And today, I think it's just a reward for, for just going through the process the last one or two months. Um, after Oman, I obviously had to put in a lot of work and I put in the work back in India and then with the team from January we're working hard so I think we just want to trust the process and I think it will lead to results in Namibia too. After the first two or three wickets they started to get very defensive, very conservative with the batting and it was almost as if it looked from the boundary that they were just looking to play out your 10 overs and just try not to lose any more wickets to you and then they were going to try and figure out how to score on the rest of the USA bowlers. And that almost looked like it played into your hands a bit. It seemed like the more into a shell that they went and the more defensive they got, it looked like you were seizing on that, especially with those fourth and fifth wickets. Did you feel that at all? Um, yeah, I think so too. Um, I think the first three wickets played in the heads too. And when you're watching from outside and the team is so pumped up and everybody is just, you know, the energy is it's visible from the outside and if you're watching it as a team from outside it's going to play in your mind and I think after those three wickets I had to just make use of the situation that we were in and I just wanted to get as many as I could because I think I still had five six overs to go when I got three wickets so yeah happy with the five. As the ball is in the air and you see for the fifth wicket batsman is padding up <laughs> You know, you you pretty much got the fifth one. What what was it like going through your mind? Because this was your career best for USA. You'd taken a five for in a trial match in Texas, but in an actual international match playing playing for USA, you'd gotten four, or three, and four a few times. You've never gotten to five. Uh, what was it like when when you knew that that thing was going to go in the air? It felt amazing. I mean, um, playing for US and then taking a five for for the US, it's it's something else. It's not. It's you don't get it every day and. Today, I wanted to make it count. I, I'd got 3-4 and I was bowling well, I was in a good rhythm. I thought if I could just keep it in the right areas, I would get the fifth. But at the same time, I had to be patient as well because it has to comply with the team's um, plans. And the moment he just padded up the ball, I knew he was out. And yeah, just, just celebrated. <laughs> you were the man of the match in both wins that USA had against Leeward Islands in the regional Super 50 competition. Mm -hmm. You had a hat-trick against Canada in the Audi Cup. Where does this victory rank and your performance in the victory rank amongst your career highlights playing for USA? That's a hard question. Uh, I think each 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 match had its own consequence. In Audi Cup, when I got the hat-trick, I think it was the first time we won Audi Cup in 25 years. So that had its own, own little you know, it felt nice. And then two wins in against Leeward in Super 50, that was the first time we beat them on that year, or the first time ever. So even that felt great, but 
even here it just feels amazing um, i don't know where i would put it in all of them but it's right up there um, in just terms of in terms of bowling in terms of bowling i think i would put it after audi cup um in just just in terms of performance and not the situation wise yeah just in general i mean you you talked to a little bit earlier about focusing on the process and not thinking so much about the results and just trying bowling good areas but these wickets on, on both pitches today this was a, a, a different ground for people who are not in dubai there are two separate ovals here at the icc academy this is a, a different ground bigger boundaries but both pitches have been fairly flat both pitches looked like they were very good for run scoring and yet you took five wickets steven taylor similarly took four wickets yesterday he was quite effective bowling fingerspin had a couple wickets with the arm ball you looked like you got a, at least one or two wickets with the arm ball today why were you able to be so effective just with so little assistance on the wicket when a lot of guys were scoring runs freely especially on when usa went out to bet um i think it's a lot about bowling in partnerships too um i think today when i was bowling when i started we had some good overs from the other end too and similarly yesterday when taylor was bowling from one end the bowlers at the other end backed him up and we kept it tight from the other end and then i think just like batting even in bowling bowling in partnership helps a lot and then our fielders have been backing up the bowlers inside the ring i think we have been fielding brilliantly although we have been sloppy at times but i think the energy is right up there so i think all that is contributing to the success of the bowlers too following up your performance Xavier Marshall and Aaron Jones again half centuries yesterday half centuries again today watching from the sidelines what stood out to you most about the way they went about their partnership in particular they added more than 100 together mm-hmm. for the third wicket it's so nice to see them getting such a good and big partnership um i think it's something that we didn't have this uh, kind of partnerships earlier and even yesterday the way they batted today i think they took it a step forward although x would have loved to get 100 here but i think the way they have been batting positively and they just look fearless um aaron comes in he knows what to do he is not struggling is he it's like he already knows he's getting a 80 90 and they just do the job and then we are safe and we are home so i think they need to be they they're in the zone and it's lovely to be seeing them in their zone and i think they should just keep batting the same way it's going to help us immensely going forward just in, in a more of a broader big picture thinking back to your very first tour in uganda having somebody there in the middle order who could contribute consistently was a major struggle and that's been a major struggle going back several years for usa what is it like confidence wise thinking back to how it was on that tour where the team struggled quite a bit especially in the middle order and now the difference now 2 years later where you have a rock like that in the middle order what does it do mentally for the guys in the change room and and whether it's at the start of a day going into a match or knowing when you've got a total that's a somewhat challenging total of 221 222 to chase knowing that you got a guy like that out there who's who's dependable what does it do for the guys watching um like you said yeah i think it was a tricky situation here 220 it's it's not a big score to be chasing but um i think the way aaron has batted in the last 6 to 8 months when i got in in oman and here you just know that when he walks in he's he's right there and it it cools the the dressing room outside i mean we know you you have that kind of belief that he's going to get the job done and it's the same with the other guys too i think the way the batting lineup lineup is shaping up you just know that if one guy doesn't score the next one is going to come and do the job i think that's important because the team trusts in each player and it's just showing up in the results and hopefully we can keep going the same way one thing people at home didn't get to see today was that after the match you wanted to go to the nets with Janice Arkan Janice was padded up at number 7 didn't get to come in today because you guys were so dominant but even though you had a pretty busy day yourself taking five wickets you wanted to be there to bowl to him in the nets to help him have a complete day and and thinking about the bigger picture where is your mindset mentally in regards to those kind of things even on a day like today thinking about what's ahead 
for the team in Namibia? Um, I think it goes a long way to where, where our heads is. Um, I think the main focus is Namibia. Although we want to win all the games here, you just want to be your best version in Namibia. Um, and I think it's the process has remained the same, irrespective of if I've got the rewards or not. I just want to keep the process going. Um, five wickets or zero, I just got to put whatever I can each day. And I think if I can give my best each day and keep improving, there's no reason why we'll get we'll not get the rewards. Anything else you want to say about today's performance or heading into the day off towards the next match against the UAE 11? Um, I think USA Cricket is on the right track. I think I'd like to thank the team management as well um, for, for all that they're doing in order to get us in the best shape for Namibia. And I would like the fans to keep cheering us and following us and we'll do them proud.